guys happy tuesday it's tuesday february the 21st and i am up 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 because we are going on a trip mini mini trip a hey, it's trip day so we are headed out of town it's like three hours away i thought it was two but it's like three hours away and it's currently 8 26 so i'm making good time and i've been up for a while yeah I didn't edit. I wanted to have my Wednesday and Friday video edited before I left. And so I did do Wednesdays, but I didn't put music and stuff on it. So I did that last night. I exported it. And while I was waiting, I fell asleep. So I uploaded that this morning. And then I edited Friday's vlog this morning. And it is currently uploading. And by the time I leave, it should be finished uploading. Um, and hopefully it's okay. And I can review it back. If not... I'll be home Thursday. I just didn't want to have to edit on Friday if I didn't have to. Um, and then Sunday's video, I am going to have to edit when I get back. Or I may edit while I'm there. It depends. I don't know. We don't make no promises. But I'm up this morning, so I do have my suitcase packed. So basically, the outfit I'm wearing is like my outfit. Like, everything else is loungewear sets. Like, I'm not trying to get dressed. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm going to be cute and have my face washed and stuff. But I am chilling this weekend. This is literally a secluded chill type place and i want to be feeling like i'm lounging when i'm there um and all of that so i just have on this uh black t-shirt from banana republic i have on this waffle knit cropped like uh jacket from halara belt is from target pants are from Amber Crombie or either American Eagle. I can't remember. And then my black tennis shoes are Reebok. And then I just have on this earrings. And then I have on this necklace from Alicia Shop that says more self-love. Very fitting for this week, for this next two days, right? So that's why I decided to wear that one. Just super simple and my everyday bracelets. Of course. So that is the outfit of the day. Just super chill and laid back um so i'm about to zip the suitcase up because everything is packed i have like my toiletries i have two bathing suits because they do have a hot tub yeah girl i had to get one with a hot tub mm, you know and i bought my speaker i got my tripod to get content i got my hairbrush and all my hair stuff and then i just have my clothes and stuff in there and then over there i have a little bag for all of my electronics i'm charging my laptop now and i'm just going to take this as my like travel bag for my laptop ipad um stuff will go in there along with my wallet and then for my wallet i have um I took out my debit card just in case something go down, but I do have my driver's license, my flex card in case of like I need to pay for some medical, and then I have one credit card in here. And then for my cash envelopes, I have my date night. It has $60 in there. I just brought it just in case. I don't think I'm going in anybody's restaurant to do anything, but I got the date night, got $60 in there. I got fuel because we do need fuel, so it's $40 in there. The rest of the grocery money is $57 in there, and then... For dining out i don't know how much is in there i have 40 dollars still in the wallet so i don't know how much this is i have to tell you guys later um and so i'm gonna pack all of that up into this big kate spade tote bag um, that i got when i was in florida with alicia and we're about to make up my bed do a little i pretty much tidied up already but just the last little minute just make sure everything is together um and then we do have to run down to um ups to drop off these returns i might run into target because i want to get some travel body washes i don't want to take my whole big old body wash and i don't have any travel ones so i need to take get some travel ones from target and then i need to decide where am i going to stop and get meat like i have a bunch of sides i have no meat so we still need meat for dinners um or whatnot and a couple of snacks so Still going to see, but we have plenty of time. I don't, to get there at 3 o'clock or 2.45 because, you know, traffic be a fool in in a uh, Atlanta area. So, I'm going to be leaving around 11, 11, 15, actually headed to Atlanta. But I'm going to be leaving the house earlier than that so I can run these couple of errands. It's 8.30. I want to leave the house at 9. Yeah, because, you know, two hours will go by just like that. And then next thing you know, you late. So, I need to be getting it together and getting the hell on out of here. So, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right. All right, you guys, so we are headed out. It is 9.05, so we're doing good. I left the house right at 9 o'clock, 
and our first order of business is to take these returns to UPS and drop them off. Um, I might pop into the Dollar Tree next door because I, I decided to make, um, I was trying to think about breakfast. I was thinking more about dinner and lunches, but I forgot, totally forgot about breakfast. So I got some eggs that I already had at home, and then I think I'm going to make some um, French toast. So I did get some um, some syrup, the eggs, but I don't have any nutmeg. I don't have any cinnamon. Um, I do have the bread, and then I think I, I'm a, I use oat milk. I'm not going to use regular milk to make mine. And um, I just got a bunch of groceries back there that I already uh, bought, but I'm just trying to think of. I do want. I did bring some chicken wings, a pack of chicken wings, so I can cook. I can eat that for lunch and dinner. But I do want like a nice steak one night. So I think I'm gonna go when I go in Target. I'm gonna see what their steaks looking like. Well, uh, Pickly Wiggly steaks were looking real busted. Like I didn't like them. Uh, and then all the they usually have steaks. They didn't have any this time because where I bought them from last time. Uh, so we'll see how much Publix. I mean, not Publix, but Target steaks are. I'm on, I'm not trying to spend a million dollars. Okay, like ten dollars on the steak. That's about it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about. And then after that, I'll probably hit the Starbucksies, and then we'll just hit the highway. If we get there early, it's fine. No big deal. Um, maybe beat a couple traffic. Maybe miss some school traffic or whatever. And uh, you know, just get ready to post up for the next two days. I'm so excited, you guys. I am so excited. This is much needed to get away and to just sit back and enjoy some me time with nobody around leave me alone okay that part so i will check it with you guys a little bit later all right you guys we're making really good timing it's 10 21 and i'm just gonna go ahead and leave for georgia now i don't have anything else to do i went by filled up my tank i got breakfast at sneaky peak i, I didn't go to uh, starbucks um then i went to ups and returned those packages and then i went jumped into the dollar store to get like some little sugary snacks and then i went to uh target and got everything i needed out of target just got some body wash the little mini ones and i got some um what do you call those things some food so i did get some petite soy loins and i got uh some bacon and then i got some sugar some compost of vanillas extracts some cinnamon cumin not cumin a uh, nutmeg to make my french toast and oat milk and then um that's it so i think we have everything we need whatever we don't have i guess we didn't need it and i'm just about to get on the highway now we got three hours to get there and you know everything in georgia takes so much longer traffic is just horrific so we'll just see how this goes um well we'll definitely get there on time because i'm leaving about an hour earlier than it, than my thing my gps told me to but it's all good um so yeah but i'm gonna finish listening to my audio book it's so good y'all it just got to a turning point now all the pieces are falling together it's actually really good and um i'm 86 percent in and i'm starting to find out you know what's going on what's happening and i'm still trying to figure out why the son got involved so we we waiting on that but we had a part where she figuring it out she getting there and she figuring stuff out and so it's very interesting so i'll let you guys know when it's finished how i liked it it's looking to be around a four it's not a true five like it's not a like eh, but it's about a four it's about a four right now so unless they do something stupid it might drop down to a 3.5 but i think it's gonna be a four so yeah but i will see you guys when we get to georgia i'm so excited for this trip y'all i need it i need it and i i'm so happy i'll see y'all later It looks like the cleaning lady is still there. It's like 327 now. So he said she would be through about three o'clock, but I guess not. Um I don't know where we're supposed are we supposed to park like along the side of this thing? It's like a weird place to park. I'm glad I'm on this side because over there, I guess I can show you guys. It's like you could see if you were outside and you were like in a jacuzzi if any of these had jacuzzis, like you literally oh you guys can't see because the sun but you would literally be able to see what everybody's doing and i don't I, that's i'm glad i didn't pick any of those um this one looks like really secluded and even if somebody could see you know it won't be every damn body you know what i'm saying so let's just wait on the cleaning lady and uh i gotta use the restroom i'm freaking starving 
I got snacks in here, but I want to eat some real food. But I still got to cook it, so I guess it's going to take a minute anyway. Because we about to get grilled out for real <laughs> as soon as possible. But yeah, I'm just waiting, so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. The windows are huge so it probably will be like really bright in here but they do have shades that come down but I don't even want to put the shades down like that it's so freaking gorgeous oh my gosh like if I could have like a vacation house or a getaway house it would definitely be something like this like just super simple super quaint where I can chill out and rest. It's absolutely stunning in here. And I can't even show you how much because the windows are just so big. Hopefully it doesn't wash it out. But look at that view. And it literally goes all the way around. It's just windows. And it's like one room. I love it. It looks so good in here. I'm going to be chilling tonight. So we need to get started on getting everything ready and done or whatnot. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my suitcase into this little area here that i showed you in the bathroom so they basically have like a little walk around and over here is like where you put your suitcase and then they have hangers for you to hang up your clothes or whatnot so i'm gonna bring my suitcase in here and kind of do a mini unpacking but probably won't do too much because you know i don't really unpack like that <laughs>
spread so all the groceries that need to stay cool are put up. And now we're going to go ahead and see what they have. If they have any bowls. Oh, yeah, they have bowls and, like, stuff up here. So that's great. So I'm going to see what I can marinate the steaks in. Oh, they got a big bowl for my chicken. Great. Um, that's perfect. I didn't even think about bringing wine, but they got these beautiful goblets. Look at those. Those are absolutely stunning. It's like a blue color, too. Blue, like smoky gray color. So pretty. So we're going to get to... I season the snake steaks in this one, the smaller one. And then I will season the chicken in this bigger one. And good, they both have lids. So that's perfect. Y'all look how cute this little bear in a canoe with their uh, salt and pepper. <laughs> I love it. Look at this tea kettle. Alicia would kill me if I tried to buy this, but isn't it stunning? Y'all know I love tea kettle. Look at this tea kettle. <laughs> God know what he be doing when he be having me pick these right places that I need to go. We're just going to season up the chicken. I'm going to turn on my Bluetooth because we need to have some music in here. I'm ready. I am ready. Okay. Y'all just gonna have to get this uh this fast forward on it. Oh my god, wait till y'all see what's over the bed. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know it twinkled. Okay. I'm so excited to show you guys, especially tonight. It's gonna be bomb. are seasoned and I just put all of my spices and stuff I brought with me there I bought some popcorn but that I forgot my seasoning salt so we just had to use regular salt for the chicken it is what it is um and I'm gonna these bags I don't know if I'm gonna need them or not oh Jesus I'm glad that thing has a BB thing on there because I didn't realize I left the door open um and I'm just gonna like tidy up a little bit and then I'll probably sit and uh, chill for a little bit. It's about 5.30. We'll probably start cooking about 5.30, yeah. About 5.30. Um, but let me show you the bed lights. And it'll be more of an effect at nighttime. But do you see this up above the bed? And they twinkle. Can you guys see them twinkling? Do y'all see that twinkle? Oh my gosh. And that's above the bed, you guys. This bed is absolutely stunning. Look how thick. And this is like real wood. Y'all already know how I feel about real wood. Like, look how stunning this bed is. Oh my gosh, it's massive. It has to be a California king. This can't be no regular king because it is huge. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna chill out for a minute. So I will come check back in with you guys. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes 
Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. 5:39, and I just chopped up the squash, zucchini, and um, mushrooms, and we're gonna saute some garlic with it and some butter. And then I'm not gonna cook all the chicken tonight. I am just going to cook five pieces. I know this probably. Uh, a mess but I don't want to like have to warm it up in the microwave I want it to be fresh so we're gonna go out here and see how this grill work <laughs> pray for your girl because I don't know how it works um and it's a gas grill I don't really like gas grills I love gas stoves but gas grills kind of scare me so um yeah so I want to hurry up and cook it as fast as possible because you know every time I leave my food out and bears and shit can smell everything <laughs> Y'all, I'm paranoid as fuck. But let's go out here and get this grill together and see what we can get um, going and ready to go, okay? And then we'll start sauteing the vegetables when the chicken is about halfway done. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. I will keep on searching for my highs. All right, it was super simple. Okay, maybe not as scary as I thought it would be. There's also a side burner here. I wonder if I can cook my vegetables out here, but I'm kind of scared. Like, if I attract any type of animal, I'm going to be freaking the fuck out. Okay, so maybe I need to stick to what the fuck I know. Okay, which is let's just do this chicken and keep it moving. Okay, that part. Um, let me let that warm up for a little bit. And they told you to clean the grill after you get through. Somebody didn't clean the grill. So let me clean that off right quick with the little brushes when it gets hot. They have these little wire brushes and that's what you clean the... You have to do it like this and it'll get all that stuff off of there. Somebody didn't do it. Trifling. But I literally only need to turn on one side. So I'm going to turn this other side off actually because we really only need this side over here um, for real for real to so cook our chicken it's a nice grill maybe one day i'll upgrade to some gas i'm still scary but you know maybe one day anyway let me go while that's burning off, let me go and get my stuff and I'll be right back. We'll let that cook for a little while. We'll wash out our pan. So we can put the chicken back, back in here. I know they told me to use the dishwasher, but y'all know I just hand wash stuff. It don't make no sense if I'm going to be using the same dishes for the next couple days. Why keep washing dishes like that? That don't make no sense. So I'm not going to be doing that. We're just going to wash this little shit out and be done. Be done with it. 
I want to refill my wine. And is it bad if I'm already tipsy, but I'm on vacation, so it don't really matter because I'm not going to drive anywhere or go or do anything? Is it bad if I just want to get another glass of wine and just be some like drunk? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> what y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all going to talk about me? Y'all talk about me? Or no? I love this island, y'all. Like, my island is huge. So, they have the dishwasher in the island and they have, like, the sink in their island. But I know to move um, plumbing is very expensive because I would love to move my sink out in front of the window and have it in the island at my house. That would be really, really nice with a nice deep sink like this. be absolutely stunning. But, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. So, I might not have enough money for that. So, we're just going to do what we can do, baby. Um, let's go check on the chicken. Because gas cooks fast, your shit will be burned. <laughs> that part. I feel like I should just leave the damn door open. Because uh, clearly there's no bugs or anything else out here. Oh. Yeah, it's cooking good. Make sure we don't burn up our chicken, y'all. This is at 300 degrees. So that's about right. That's about right. All right. I will come back when we are um, about to saute the vegetables. And then I will show you the finished product of a dinner for tonight. My other plan is to set my alarm in the morning. I want to get up when the sun rises. So the sun is setting over there. So I'm thinking the sun is going to rise in the morning over here. That's what I'm hoping. If not, we're still going to sit out there regardless. But that's what I'm hoping will happen, that I can sit out there and watch the sunrise with a nice cup of chai. Um, so, yeah, I will be back. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Our chicken is done it looks so freaking good do y'all see that it's grilled to perfection yeah baby i don't want to put the lid on it because i don't want it to get soggy you know sometimes you trap the heat in it as soggy instead of being crispy so i'm going to leave it and then we're going to work on sauteing up these vegetables so we can eat dinner it is 6 30 already so hopefully we'll be eating dinner about 7 7 30 maybe uh watch a movie or a show or something i haven't tried the tv yet they only have wi-fi so i wonder if i can do it like apple tv and stream something i don't know yet but we will see if not we'll just you know listen to some music and eat i guess so let's get working on these vegetables hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city, let's drive to the open. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the right, guys, 
right, so it's 7.15. <laughs> and this food is uh, good. You know what I mean? I cooked the hell out of this chicken <laughs> and these vegetables. And I got a little salad to go with it. And of course, a glass of wine. <laughs> I think I'm like three-fourths through the bottle. <laughs> Bad, I'm not playing. I'm just wine. I'm not going anywhere to the day after tomorrow, so I can be tipsy all I want to. Right, right. So the plan is eat dinner, go ahead and get in the shower because they ask that you shower first before you get in the hot tub and then go down and get in the hot tub. So hopefully we'll be in the hot tub at about 8.30. And then we'll sit in there for a little while, maybe about an hour or so. And then we will come up and rinse off, I guess, since we already took a shower, rinse off. And then kind of wind down tonight, maybe watch a movie. You know me, I'll be sleeping a minute. So <laughs> I'm an early bird. I'm trying to stay up late and just soak in all that I can since I'm only here two nights. And uh, finish eating my dinner, finish listening to my music. And then we going to shimmy on down to the hot tub. Hey, mm -mm, I can't wait. Mm -mm, in the hot tub. <laughs> I'll check with you guys later. Clearly I don't have too much wine, that part. Night when the stars are bright. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair <sighs> Alright guys, we're finally <laughs> laying down. So I stayed in the hot tub for a minute. It's 9.56. I stayed in the hot tub till 9.30 like I said. And I just got out of the shower again because we need to rinse off after the hot tub, I know. Um, and then... Another last glass of wine. Y'all, I have drunk a whole bottle of wine today. Your girl is <laughs> tipsy as hell, okay? Damn near drunk. I ain't drunk drunk, but I'm on my I was on my way. Like this is gonna be it because I'm not gonna open the other bottle until tomorrow. So this is the last. I'm gonna savor the last little bit of this. Um like I said, it's 9.56. I'm about to watch a movie. I probably won't even make it through the movie. I probably won't even make it through the movie. But that's not the point, right? That's not the point. But let me Saturday, but it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh, got my days off. I am up, as you see, before the sun. Because we're going to try to catch the sunrise this morning. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I think it's even a little foggy. Let's see if we can see if it's a little foggy. Even the 
thing that that covers the door is automatic but i think you have to pull it i didn't see a remote or anything saying don't pull it but hopefully i'm not breaking anything because i don't see a remote for it that i'm aware of but my god are there people down there i don't know it's right a flag i thought those folks out there it's gonna be a little nippy but i just want to give you guys the view right now Oh, ooh, it's cold. Look at this view, you guys. It's a little foggy. But it is absolutely gorgeous out here. So let's get our little chai made. And sit here and wait for the sunrise. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that steep for about five minutes. I think we still got a little time. It says the sun rises at 7, 15 and 6.50, so we got a couple of more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my, not brush my teeth, because I'm gonna drink something, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. While that steep shouldn't take no more than five minutes. And then when we get finished sitting outside, sunrise, we'll come back and brush our teeth. <laughs> and then chill out a little bit before we start making breakfast. So I will be back. Guys, our face is all washed. I've unwrapped my hair. We have our chai sitting there. So we're about to go. I got this blanket on because it's gonna be a little chilly out there. And we're gonna sit out here and see if we can see the sunrise. Wish me good luck. <laughs> You know, I can't barely look at the sun. I probably need shades. <laughs> but I thought I was going to come up over the lake over there. Clearly. So in the morning. It's like 7.40ish. So tomorrow we'll be on time. Um, I went in because I was like, it ain't coming up. And then it came up. And it was coming fast too. It's so crazy how fast it moved up over the mountain. But it's beautiful. And it literally hits right into my cabin. Like, yes. Let's come through cabin treetop with the sunlight. <laughs> I'm here for it. So we'll probably start making breakfast about 9 a.m. We're doing French toast and eggs and bacon. It's gonna be so good. All right, it's chilly. Let's go in. <laughs> for a little bit it's a little after nine now it's 9 15 so not bad um i'm about to go ahead and make my berry compost because we're gonna have french toast and bacon but it says you need to make the compost and let it cool down for a bit so i'll probably make it now and let it sit there for an hour i think so let's see i only knew of two ingredients so i'm only gonna have two ingredients it is what it is um I think when I went back and looked, they said you needed like cornstarch and possibly lemon juice, but I don't have that. So we're going to make do what we got, baby. We're going to do what it do, baby. Okay, so I'm going to get out me a little sauce pot here, this little one here, and we are going to get this bad boy going. Okay. It's going to be a trial and error. So we're just gonna make it how we think it should be made <laughs> and pray that it come out right, okay? So a little bit of nutmeg in here. And um, 
some sugar. Let's start with two tablespoons of sugar. I think somebody said three though, so let's try three, whatever. And then, I did get blackberries and raspberries because those are my favorite. Let's rinse them all first. Now, I don't know <laughs> how much berry versus not to put in here, but we're just gonna eyeball this and hope it come out right. That part. And I don't know how much it's gonna make, but it doesn't matter because tomorrow we'll eat breakfast too, so. These are good. Mm. Some blackberries in them. I hope it come out right. <laughs> we gonna see. We gonna see. So that's what it looks like right now. Yeah, that would look like right now. I'm gonna turn me some music on and just chill out while this does whatever it needs to do. Very compote. Now I had to when I was doing the wooden spoon, I was literally like um smushing it into like a spoon that has smaller holes to kind of like uh filter it because I don't have a strainer, you're supposed to strain it. But I think we're gonna do good, you guys. So I'm about to pour me a good old glass of mimosa. Alright, so I got two things of Prosecco you saw and some orange juice, and this is our mimosa to go with our breakfast. Oh, and that's good. Alicia would be a proud of me, y'all. She say all the time, I don't put enough Prosecco in mine. It's two bottles of Prosecco in one bottle of orange juice. Your girl gonna be tipsy in like 50 more minutes. I'm gonna try to only drink half and save the other half for tom tomorrow morning. <coughs> <coughs> Right there we are going to get ready to work on lunch so for lunch we're gonna have broccoli our leftover veggies from last night um yeah I didn't want to reheat them but we don't reheat them um and our broccoli like I said and a steak that 
we marinated all night. It should be so good. Oh, I can't wait. I think I have to let it thaw out though. And then we're gonna have um, some more salad. And then that will be lunch. And then I, don't, I think dinner will be chicken again. Um, so we'll see what we'll have for dinner. But today has been great. So restful, so peaceful. I like sitting in the hot tub. I'm like wrinkly. I said hot tub so long, <laughs> but it felt so good. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cook the broccoli on the grill or if I'm going to cook it over the stove top because I want to steam it. But to steam it, you need to put it in a, it needs to have water. And so the only thing that they have is this which goes out on the grill, but you need like water to make it steam. So I'm not sure if these, I'm sure these are grill safe, right? I think this is grill safe. So like I wanna put this on top of here and then put the broccoli in here and have some water at the bottom. And that way we can steam the broccoli on the grill. Um, and then we can cook the, um, what do you call it? The steak. So the steak, I think it has to rest. I probably should have took it out of the refrigerator this morning because they are cold, but they look so good. I think I'm gonna cook one tonight and then in the morning we might have steak and eggs for breakfast. That sounds real good on it. Mm, yeah, girl. Um, so I'm just gonna take one of these out and put on our little cutting board here. And just let it thaw out for about 30 minutes. It's 226 now so we'll start cooking about three and then the next time we cook will probably be about so at the same time about 7 7 30 or so and we'll probably end up eating about eight which is perfect timing a late lunch i know um but i didn't want to get out of that hot tub y'all i did not want to get out of that hot tub did i tell y'all i didn't want to get out of the hot tub i didn't want to get out of the hot tub and i literally could eat this whole thing of broccoli by myself I love vegetables, if you guys don't know that, like broccoli, um, zucchini, squash, Brussels sprouts. Only thing I don't eat is okra. I do not like okra in any form, shape, or fashion. So that's about the only vegetable I think I don't eat, um, if I'm not mistaken. So I've just been listening to music and chilling out because that's what I like to do. And to me, that is very um, relaxing. Let me see if I can fix y'all. I want y'all to be able to see and be able to talk to y'all at the same time. All right. So like I was saying, that's like very relaxing to me. It's like chilling in the hot tub or even on the porch. I was sitting out on the deck. You know, it's such a beautiful day. So have y'all ever thought about going on like a solo, like mountain trip and i'm not this is like a i guess it's a mini cabin it's like a cabin but it's like a tree house cabin i guess um but it's not a tree tree house but it's up on stilts and there's a lot of other ones out here i think they call them um the name of the street is tree topper circle but the name of this house is called evermore um so yeah but we are going to get that broccoli in there. I'm going to fill up that pot with water. Not too much water because we want it to boil. And the steaks are not going to take that long with the steak because I'm only cooking one. The steak is not going to take that long because I like my steak medium rare. If you know, you know. And I don't even know. I might not cook it on the grill. I might actually cook it inside in the skillet. I should have brought some rosemary. Y'all didn't bring no rosemary, but we definitely have some garlic and butter to like saute it up. We might actually cook it in the house. Yeah, I think we're gonna cook it in the house. There's no reason going outside. The only reason why I don't like it is because that's why I don't like electric stoves, you guys. That's the only like negative I can say about this, this place. Is I feel like you need a gas stove everywhere you go, but I'm biased, so, you know, I can't really talk. But I don't really do electric stoves. To me, they're not consistent with the heat. I do to the top oh I'm, it's not consistent with the heat and i don't like that i like for my heat to be consistent and non-stop this thing turns on and off and all kind of stuff so i don't really like that
steak and vegetables for dinner making a mess i'll clean that up that's what we got all right you guys a late lunch in bed the only thing they need that they're missing is a breakfast tray like if they had a breakfast tray it would be perfect but i just got this bigger cutting board just so that i don't make a mess we need to get some napkins i'm actually gonna move up and eat on the end of the bed here so you can see the end of the bed is like super like sturdy. So I can sit here, eat on the end of the bed and watch TV because I'm watching a movie, the Predator movie. Ah, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Loves it. All right. And we got our bottle of wine here, our wine glass, and we've got our lunch late dinner. <laughs> To eat on to eat some lunch late lunch because it's what oh it's four o'clock so yeah by the time we eat again i'll be hungry again about eight so we'll probably start cooking about seven ish didn't take the chicken wings too long to get ready yesterday so no big deal pour some wine here and we're gonna drink this whole bottle tonight yes <laughs> i'm proud of myself <laughs> i'm not at all of y'all already know but this right here is about to be good. Let's cut into this juicy little steak here and see what it's looking like. Did I get it right? Did I get a medium rare? Uh, more like medium well, but that's fine. That's fine. Or it might be a medium rare. Let's see. Let's taste it. You can always tell from chewing if it's medium rare or not. It's medium well. I overcooked it a little bit. I just wanted to make sure. I know I got time. But it's still good. <laughs> it's just going to be chewing a lot longer than I want to. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> but ooh, it's so flavorful, y'all. Ooh. I marinate the hell out of this. So good. So good. I cooked it a little too long. So in the morning when I cook the other one, I'll make sure to not take so long. Yeah, because it's medium well. But it's still good. I'm going to eat and watch my movie, so... I'll take them to you guys in a bit. Welcome back. As you can see, I have my bonnet on and I have on my pajamas. I did go ahead after I got finished eating. I jumped into the shower and wrapped my hair because I was dozing off and I was like, yeah, I don't think you're going to cook dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, she's like, that's going to be your dinner. It is going to be over and enough. So I think I came to you guys about 4, right? 4 p.m. It's 9 now. It's 9 p.m. now and I am currently um, waking up from a nap. Yeah, that part. Um, I am about to watch me a movie, um, drink me some water because I've been drinking wine and, mimos wine and mimosas all I drank. Since I got here, I have nothing else. So I'm drinking me some water and I'm sitting here and I'm just watching a movie. I'm watching The Players Club. I know, right? <laughs> I'm watching the player club um, and laying in bed and so I felt kind of bad because I was like oh man you just slept through everything you know, she didn't cook or anything but that is it's a self care so it's whatever I want to do this weekend and so sometimes when I go out 
and do like a mini trip or something for myself. I try to get all the things done. So go in the hot tub, sit out on the porch, you know, sit on the couch, do whatever. Just whatever in my mind I think I need to do. Do all this cooking when that's not really... It's self-care, but it's okay not to do those things as well. So sometimes I get it in my head that I should have done more while I was here, but it's not necessary. So I think I did enough. I deserve some extra sleep. So that's what I got. Um, I probably, I'm probably i still kind of sleepy. I'll probably just watch this movie, but most likely I will fall asleep. So I will see you guys in the morning. I just want to come back and not leave you guys all uh busted and crusted and be like oh it's 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 thursday y'all my bad but yeah it's wednesday night at nine but we're about to watch the rest of the players club and then i am going to go back to sleep and i will see you guys in the morning <laughs> yesterday morning but still it's pretty you guys it's absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna miss this view it's so pretty and peaceful and calm oh, i gotta go back home to the chaos of my life <laughs> but i'm already planning my next mini trip let me tell you something i hesitated so bad um planning this mini trip and paying for it after this yeah the next one's about to be about to be booked real soon. I just got to figure out if I'm going to go in May or June. I'm thinking more in June because we have a lot going on. April is just too close. And then May is a whole bunch of stuff for Jaylen. You know, she's getting. Well, April she's having her prom. And May she's having like all her senior stuff. So we'll probably go in June um, on our mini trip. Oh, no. I forgot I'm supposed to be going to. I think I'm going to Texas for my mini trip. I wanted to visit a girlfriend. We'll have to see. We'll have to see which mini trip it might be the, the third quarter mini trip the next one it'll be dead hot then though but i like coming in cabins and stuff like this when it's cool outside and they have like a jacuzzi like the best time to come but not when it's snowing we don't do no snow around here but oh, i love it the lake is there and the trees aren't covering it up. I think when you come here in the summertime, it's going to be so many trees, like, with the leaves on them, that you're not going to be able to see the mountain and the lake. So, it looks like trees have fallen, but I don't think they're cutting trees down. Because that's the, what's the point of having a tree house with no trees around it, right? <laughs> or a cabin or whatever they want to call this thing. I call it a tree house. It could, it could be something different, but that's what I like to call it. It's beautiful and peaceful for sure. breakfast is ready so we got blackberries and raspberries egg over heart i don't like runny eggs 
and my steak. Let's see if I cook my steak right. It don't chill off a lot, so it probably cooked, overcooked again. And then we're going to drink the last of our mimosa. So let's cut into our little steak here and see. Did I cook it right this time? Ooh, yeah, baby. Hey, that good medium rare. Oh, y'all, I need these knives. These knives are bomb. I'm about to take notes of the stuff that they got in there. Because I'm, I'm about to up my kitchen game. Now, one thing I noticed, you guys, is that I don't cook like this at home. Like, when I go on vacation, I feel like I should, like, treat myself. And I always say that I can't cook, but I actually can cook. Like, I've been surprised myself on this trip. Okay, I'm like, okay, you made a French toast. You got the berry compote. You know, presentation it up like a like Alicia. Alicia has taught me a lot because I just throw some on a plastic plate in a minute. But baby, I'm about to go get me some cutting board. I'm about to go get me some good knives, some good um, cookware. And we're about to be cooking up at home, y'all. I cook this steak to perfection. If it ain't medium, it was the oh, it's so good, good medium rare. Oh my god! And it's been marinating since Friday night. I keep thinking it's the weekend. Since Tuesday night. <laughs> oh, so this is it. It's so chewy. It's not tough. It's so good, y'all. I showed my ass on this trip. Showed my ass, for sure. When it comes to cooking, you're talking about I can't cook. Damn, I be lying to myself all these years. I can cook. I'm just lazy. <laughs> that part. But I'm about to be treating myself to hell, baby. Okay, you know. This steak is good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Alright, I'm finished listening to my music. And enjoy this good view. And get some good food. So I'll check my jazz in a bit. I know I'm smacking, but it's good. <laughs> it's so good. Don't talk about me. gonna take the last of this mimosa put on our bathing suit we're gonna hit the jacuzzi for about an hour it's nine o'clock nine ten now it's about ten o'clock ten to ten thirty about ten thirty we're gonna be out of here we're gonna be in the car on the way home um unless i make a couple stops on the way home but we'll see um but we want to be out of here about ten thirty um or so so i'm gonna get ready to put on my bathing suit do the last little jacuzzi run and then we're gonna head to the house but i gotta get one last dip in the jacuzzi before we go so yes i cannot sweat uh, if you've never eaten breakfast lunch and dinner on a on a um cutting board try it out it's it's so fancy <laughs> Thank you. 
all right guys it is 10 40 and we are leaving we're all packed up i checked two three four times because y'all know i'm paranoid about leaving stuff places so let's see uh, she said something about the north gate in order to take the trash out let me see if there's a north so we can dump this trash out which is luckily because they have a big trash and now i can throw away these boxes that have been back there <laughs> We're gonna get a two for one for anyway. Oh, did I take off my emergency brake? I did. Okay. All right. So long, big canoe. Y'all, this place is amazing. Like I said, I will most likely be back because it was a whole vibe for sure. And the crazy thing is different people must own all of these because they have different names and stuff. Definitely wanted to stay in one that had a jacuzzi though. So no, we're not gonna compromise on jacuzzi, but maybe I'll stay in a different location just to see how the rest of them are. But they look really, really nice, both sets. They must own them together because they got a matching bridge. But yeah, much needed rest, much needed relaxation and quiet. The kids did so good. They did not call me not one time. I think I didn't tell them not to call me but I think they've kind of got it in their mind that when I go away and I be gone, like, don't bother me unless it's an emergency. Like, I'm going on my chill, solo, me time, and I don't need you calling me with nothing. I'll see you when I get back to the house. <laughs> like, thank you, kids, for finally, you know, being. With, and maybe they just didn't have nothing to call me about. I don't know. I'm going to take it as they finally learned that when I go on my solo trips, like, just, just give your mom a break for a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> She'll see you when she get back, okay? That part. 